What's up YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Um, this time I would like to give some of you some advice on traveling. Now I'm gonna make a few videos about certain places I've traveled to in the world. Um, I've traveled to a number of places and I think I can give uh, good advices on where to go and what to do when you're there and also what to look out for. So one place that I traveled to uh, twice was Costa Rica and actually it was the first place that I've ever traveled to internationally for my country in my life so basically I, I love the place when I've been there the two times that I've been there I loved it I totally loved it I have no regrets about going there the the, the first and second time was to study Spanish I do speak Spanish I'm not as good as I used to be but I feel like if I actually put in some time to study the language I can definitely pick up why I left off and I've actually uh, traveled to a few other Spanish making countries but I'll make another video about that as well so here are the 15 things that you need to know before you travel to Costa Rica number one Costa Ricans have gates on their houses every house you see around they have gates on their houses right so basically you see in, in North America people don't necessarily put gates on their houses or you, you see rich people do it but normal people don't necessarily do this and also you don't see normal people or normal families or residential uh, areas or housing put gates around their houses they usually leave their house ungated sometimes it's because of the mail person they have to drop off the mail and also because they feel safe I guess I'm guessing I'm not saying this is a fact but I'm guessing is because some of criminality or crime going on Costa Ricans want to be safe from any illegal activities going on so basically they do that number two uh, when you enter a bus you have to make sure that you never actually when especially when the bus is full when the bus is full you never get out of the bus to let someone else on the bus so I did this one time when I was there I was traveling from uh, Alawila to Areria uh, just to visit some families that I've actually known there so I got on a crowded bus I was the last person to get on so you would imagine that I was standing at the entrance of the bus and I what I didn't know that every bus in Costa Rica has two bars on the side of them so when you enter the bus the bar counts you as one person right and you pay the driver so when I entered and I paid the driver of this crowded bus and he let me on let me stop at another bus stop and someone else was coming off so I being polite wanted to let the person off so I got off of the bus and as soon as I tried to get back on the bus the bus driver stopped me right there he said ah you have to pay again basically he said it's in Spanish you have to pay again so I didn't know I mean I'm a tourist right turista I'm a tourist I don't know these things so basically I don't I don't think I paid again I think he let me back on the bus so that was one of the things that you have to look out for when you're traveling to Costa Rica also now number three the bus drivers can be a little bit mm, what do you say not nice especially when they, they don't like you asking them questions they'll tell you to, they wouldn't tell you to go away but they sometimes they won't answer your question when you try to ask them a question or they'll try to ignore you or shoo you away now I'm not saying this is the is the attitude of course to weekends I'm just saying this is generally what I see and happen when I interacted with bus drivers in Costa Rica. Costa Rica isn't necessarily a black country. I don't want to even bring race into this. I don't think they are being racist at all. So uh, get out of your mind. <laughs> I just think that um, in general, bus drivers are not nice. Number four, you know, in North America, they have street signs on every street. So this is called like Martin Luther King Jr. Street or something like that. Not in Costa Rica. They don't have street signs on their roads so basically you'll have to know exactly where something is to get directions or to know where to go for example if you get directions from a Costa Rican they would tell you that you need to go 50 metros this way and you see a, a car there that's color blue or you go uh, 50 metros down the right here and turn left and then you'll see a tree huge tree there a mango tree then you turn the left and uh, it's kind of confusing it can be confusing if you're especially not um, used to that kind of directions or of course if you don't speak the language but um, yeah it's just a different thing it's not bad but it's just different and I, I like I like being in different cultures where you can learn 
different things about the culture. Number five, do not throw your toilet paper into your toilet bowl. This is a very important concept because their toilet bowls can get stopped up by you doing that. Now, I don't think this is true in hotels that you might visit, uh, very high-end hotels or five-star hotels or very nice hotels. But if you're staying with a family, if you have a family that's hosting you in Costa Rica, don't throw your toilet tissue number two or number one. Don't throw your toilet tissue in the toilet bowl. You throw it in the garbage bin beside the toilet bowl. They call it basura. Basura means garbage. So you, you throw it in the garbage bin beside the toilet bowl when you finish your bit doing your business, <laughs> whatever you're doing. So yeah, just keep that in mind. And that's actually a real thing. Like you don't throw the toilet tissue in the toilet bowl. Number six, crazy drivers. Bus drivers drive crazy. Regular citizens drive crazy. Don't try to cross the street when there's a lot of people actually driving past you. You have to be very careful. I was traveling to a Spanish speaking country, not Costa Rica, but another country, one of my friends and I were crossing the street. She was taking a, a long time actually crossing the street. And my other friend, the guy, he was, me and him had crossed already. She was taking a slow time. So when she was about to cross and she didn't know this, the bus was actually about to hit her. Like he was not stopping. So she jumped out of the way really quick. And like she almost had a heart attack basically. Uh, we told her that you have to be very careful because in Spanish speaking countries, and this is generally, I'm not saying this is all, not all and all, but some. This is not the a rule for all people, but this is a rule generally. You have to be very careful in Spanish speaking countries. And Costa Rica is no exception. Be very careful when crossing the street, look both ways. Definitely don't cross if you see a car coming because they will try to hit you. <laughs> or not try to hit you, but they won't stop. And they, they think they're, basically uh, pedestrians don't have the right of way in Costa Rica basically so you have to be very careful one story I, I like to relate is I saw a woman driving her car and she put her turn signal to turn right but she turned left and it was just crazy and I seen many car accidents happen before my eyes when I was in Costa Rica as well next one number seven the dogs and cats roam around everywhere now because I'm from a different country I didn't know like I wasn't used to uh, a dog or a cat walking into a restaurant where people are eating like not a restaurant that's you know open or it's an outside restaurant where you can sit outside no cats and dogs walk into the restaurant roam around sniff 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 whatever they get I guess people feed them I don't know but um, yeah it's, it's a thing and also I like to relate the story well I went to um, a church service a Catholic church service with one of my host families and they allowed me to go with them I'm not a Catholic but I was being just pol polite tending with them so when we went into the actual church uh, we were sitting there everyone was sitting down the dog came into the church um, roamed around a little bit went on the altar and no one even bought an eye they didn't bat an eye at all. No one cared. <laughs> and I was so surprised. I mean, the church service is going on and he walks up onto the altar. No, that would not happen. That dog would be stoned in my country. <laughs> and that's, uh, I guess that's a bad thing to say, but I mean, that's just the reality. It's just different cultures and you just have to be aware of things that, like that happen. Number eight, there's no wash houses. There's no, wa I didn't see any wash houses around. So basically when you want to wash your clothes, your host family or the whole day you're staying at, um, they should be able to do that for you. Now, I'm saying this because I stayed in Costa Rica for about four months uh, in total. So basically, I needed my clothes washed, right? I couldn't go four months without washing my clothes. Most people go there, stay for like four days or seven days, but I stayed for a very long time. So uh, you definitely need to know where to go to wash your clothes. Someone who's in Costa Rica, they, they could start up a business doing that actually. Number nine, when I had problems with my glasses and I needed them fixed. This portion of the glasses, these portions, I needed those fixed. I walk into the op an optical there and they did it for free. I said, oh, well, thank you. And she's like, con gusto, no problema. She, she's like, um, no problem. And I think this is a free service to actually get people to come in and buy or get repeat customers, which is a good actual strategy. So people who watch in opticals out there, you should be doing this, especially in North America. Maybe, maybe they do it in North America. I don't know but um yeah definitely good for customer service number 10 costa ricans are i don't want to i don't like the word use the word 
scary, but they're very cautious. They're very cautious people. I was, like I said, room. I was there for like four months. So I was roaming around the place, checking out the scenes, checking out the sites. I went to San Jose, went to Heredia, went to Alajuela. Um, I spent time in all those places. Uh, time by myself. I used to carry my laptop. Now, in any country that you go into, you would have situations where criminality and all that, and you have to be careful and to be safe. Being a big black man myself, I don't necessarily fall into these kinds of situations where I go play when I go places, but you have to be careful. Uh, in Costa Rica, especially my host family is telling me, you know, be careful where you go. I was in the park one day, lady come up to me. I was on my computer. She was like, try not to bring your computer out uh, in the park because people are gonna come in up to you and try to rob you and steal it. I would like someone to try, <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically just be careful. Uh, and that's basically true for any country that you go into. Number 10, Costa Ricans don't necessarily cook with a lot of spices. I know I don't necessarily know why because as you all know Christopher Columbus was a Spaniard and he came to the new world to look for gold and spices. I don't know what this got to do with the story at all. What you talking about? <laughs> yeah I mean basically uh, they don't cook with a lot of spices like we cook back home in my home country so a lot of food with fresh I guess it's good for health as well so you don't have a lot of health issues um, but I like the, the fact that they actually make fruits uh, fruit juices and they also make their food with a lot of fruits as well and so they have a lot of fruit and I mean, my my host family had they, they had a stock of fruits that's fruits so basically I like that about um, I, I like that about being there so definitely if you're there um, you have to your, your, your palate has to adapt to their way of cooking and the way of making food now like I said this might not be true if you go into a hotel because hotels have different standards right but if you're staying with a host family adapt and really take your time to try to uh, adapt to their way of eating and their food choices and all of that I think my uh, the first time I went to Costa Rica ate they, they, they fed me arroz y frijoles, which is the national food of Costa Rica. I think they got it from Nicaragua, but that's another story. Uh, the national food of Costa Rica is arroz y frijoles, that's rice and beans. So they fed me this on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. On Monday, I was sick and throwing up. It was so much. And they fed you like three meals a day because they were required to feed us three meals a day. So basically, I understood why they did it, but I guess my stomach wasn't used to that much beans and so I brought it back up. Number 12, Costa Ricans are very hospitable people. They are lovely people. If you meet them, they will greet you. If they know you, they will definitely treat you well. If you go over there for like a home stay or something, you stay in their house, they will treat you very well. They will cook for you, clean for you, definitely take you places. I went so many places with my home family. My mama Tika had a son and he took me to the carnival affair and also about a bunch of different places. And so we also went to soccer games as well. And so it was definitely a, a very good time being in Costa Costa Rica. Number 13, a lot to see in Costa Rica. When you go to Costa Rica, just book many as many tours as you can because Costa Rica is a beautiful country. Don't get me wrong. Like they have beautiful beaches, uh, volcanoes, like real volcanoes. Um, actually, I saw a volcano erupting and I stayed on a, at a hotel on the side of, not on the side of it, but you know, very, very near uh, uh, a volcano. Um, we saw it erupted that night. We went to Hot Springs. We went to uh, Forest. What the name of the forest? I think it's Serapiki. It's no, it's a Rio de Serapiki. We went to a river. Um, we we roll, we we flowed down river in a boat we went to a forest I can't remember the name of the forest for life me right now but it was a very very good time we like I said we visited uh, churches we went out to different locations different places we traveled to Monte Verde which is in the mountains uh, we stayed there for a few days two weeks so yeah there's a lot to see there's a lot to do in Costa Rica just make sure that you take the time and and try to 
go on tours and do these things as a tourist i mean they really cater to you we also went to farms they call it a uh, frog farms and also they call it butterfly farms i think they you know and think they they <laughs> I'm definitely not as good in Spanish as I was, but yeah, definitely try to take some time to actually go on some tours. Okay, uh, next we have up of they give free haircuts as well. So they have these places where barbers are trying to get some experience and all that. So you might be able to get your haircut for free. You don't have to pay. And if you do have to pay for your haircut, it's only gonna cost you like no no, no more than five dollars, three to five dollars. I I used to get my haircut for like two fifty something like that. Like it's very very I'm being a black person I have to have you know my hair cut in a certain way so I was definitely grateful that there are places that offer these services so I got my hair cut for free once but all the other times I got my hair cut by a professional barber uh, for very very cheap like for maybe little to nothing uh, also so number 15 number 15 last one uh, living in Costa Rica is very cheap like you can get fruits vegetables very cheaply you can eat very cheaply you can live very cheaply I think even apartments go for maybe two to three hundred dollars a month just for which for the standard of living in North America is very very good so just keep that in mind that you can actually live very cheaply in Costa Rica but there's a flip side to that if you work in Costa Rica you're not gonna be paid very um, well you're not gonna be paid you're gonna be paid well but you're not gonna be paid on the standards in North America you're gonna be paid to a level whereas you can live off of it so basically just take your time and uh, look for those certain jobs that you actually would like to leave good compensation off of other than that Costa Rica was amazing it is amazing it's an amazing place to go um, if you ever have the opportunity just visit there for one time you have to be careful when you're leaving to make sure that you save 25 uh, I think it was $26 for to leave because they have a departure tax and if you have, don't have that tax you have to pull out your credit card and, <laughs> and pay that tax before you leave but trust me Costa Rica is a very beautiful place uh, just take the time and opportunity to visit one day you won't be disappointed I promise you thank you for watching and stay tuned for another video bye bye